record. Okay, good evening. It's Matt from Walks Preston and tonight we're going to, we're recording a Zoom chat and we're talking about world walking. So it's um, an app and we have Steph and Jill on the, the line tonight. So hi Steph hi. And, Jill. and I'm going to share my screen and that will take us to viewing world walking. So if I share so can you both see the world walking yep. main screen now? Yep. Yeah. That's great. So I'm going to just move you and hopefully not many notifications will come through. My Facebook is pinging all day, every day. So world walking, it's, um, it's essentially an opportunity for you to um, join a group and set yourself challenges and um, maybe group up with other people and walk certain distances. So um, what was the first award that we, um, as a c collective, managed to walk? Do you remember? Uh, was it Edinburgh? So the, the Edinburgh walk, yeah. So we'll kind of show that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is just take you through this. So you'll see on the screen uh, here the button log in and you have the opportunity to register for on the World Walking site and it allows you to register both with your name and your email or you can, it should pop up hopefully, any second there it is, you can log in with Facebook. So I'm on my desktop computer and I'm gonna log in with Facebook that pulls through the data from Facebook from my personal Facebook account and it logs me in and it should open up any second. Just flashing up there so there we go there I am and it shows you how far you've walked so I've done 45,000 and we started on we're tracking from the 23rd of March I think was that the the date that we agreed yeah yeah okay so you'll see a um, bunch of activity on my login screen, Heather B, Diane D, Elaine, Elaine, um, Stephanie D, and Donna C. And you'll see that I'm in a group, and that is Angie's Angels. So currently I'm active with a particular walk, the Island Walk, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. And I have a few awards, a Socialite Award and collecting the country flag. So we've got um, the UK and um, clearly Ireland, I would imagine. And I can bank steps. So um, I didn't bank, I bank steps yesterday. I haven't bank steps today. I use an online, um, I use Strava a lot, but I also use an online step tracker. So mine on my phone. So I'm just looking at my mobile phone now. It's called Health Tracker, and today I've done, it says I've done 7,649 steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Add Steps, because if you've logged in or registered, which we've been through that process, was that clear enough, the registration? Yeah. Steph, did you log in with Facebook or with an email? Um, email. Email. And Jill, you... Yeah. Apple email. technology, so it was a bit easier for you with an Apple phone. Yep. Is that right? You, you, you yeah, just yeah. I used the mail on the on the app. So yeah, so you downloaded the app and then that pulled through your Apple data. So um, once you're into your dashboard, um, you therefore find your steps. Or do you do you log your steps or do you log miles? Both of you. I've been I've been logging my um, kilometers. Kilometers. And yeah. So where are you taking that kilometre data from? I'm taking that from a Garmin and putting it in manually. So whatever your, your, your Garmin registers as kilometres, you take that and add that. Yeah. that. And do you do yeah. that? Well, it add, it, where it says add steps, I click on that. So we'll and it gives that. you the option. Um, because I've set it up in kilometres, it asks me how many kilometres I've done. Right. So uh, I click on that. Yep, so... We've clicked into add steps. Mine's set up with steps. Jill's set up with kilometers. Um, Steph, what's your set up with? 
I've got it connected to my Fitbit, so it doesn't auto logs it automatically. Okay, so there you go. Mount it. So I'm logging my steps because I, I, it doesn't link or sync with Strava. That's right, isn't it? No, no, yeah. it doesn't. It's only the health. You can link it to your health app on your phone, on your Apple phone, or you can link it to Fitbit. Right. So I don't wear a Fitbit. Never have. So you I don't know that. Link phone, you could link your phone, Matt, because it has the health app. So linking the phone, what do you mean by that? If you go into, oh, uh, let me have a look. Oh, that's not mine, is it? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm just looking at my, my phone now. And we have Leslie who's just joined us. Leslie, you're going to flick on your camera. Maybe the bottom left of your screen. So let's just continue with that. So add steps. I know that I've got 7,649. It's, um, what time is it now? It's 8.45. So I'm going to probably not do any more steps today very much. So 7,649. I can add that distance, click that, and it should bank those steps. You'll see successfully added 5,246 meters. So the, the program itself has done a calculation from the steps into meters and my steps in the bank now come up as 12,167, which as you can see on the screen there, it's equating to eight kilometers or five miles. So once you've banked your steps, you can keep them there. What I realized was I, I registered with this program yesterday and I banked the steps from the 23rd of March. So backdated a few days, added the, uh, the steps, um, and then yesterday's steps, I banked them. It was prior to yesterday that I banked the, the steps originally. So just then you saw I had 5,000 in, I've added another 7,000, that's 12. What I'm gonna do is continue to, to bank the steps until the end of the month, and then I'll spend them, and they should go over to this left-hand side once I've spent them. So I think if you either choose to, if you're doing it manually like myself, you maybe find, a you, do it, you set yourself to task to input them daily or maybe once every week or once a month. And again, you've got to kind of keep your own track of that. If you've connected the, uh, the app or the program to your phone like Fitbit, like Steph has, then it'll just do it automatically. And you don't have to think about it. So it might be easier for you if you've got um, Fitbit or some technology like that. Jill, you were going to say about connecting it to your phone? I know, I'm just having a look now. I, I found it yesterday. I can't find it today. <laughs> Okay, well, not, not to worry. So, um, but there is some way of connecting it um, where you connect to Fitbit. There's also another option to connect to health phone. So, um, anyone with a, an, Apple, an iPhone can, uh, can connect that way. Yeah, I think um, quite often the iPhone and the Apple sort of watch and um, phone, they, they kind of tend to be working with these apps a little bit more in sync. Um, I don't know, mine's a, um, an Android phone. Quite a lot of apps work with that, but um, I don't think I can connect my phone to this, um, this world walking at this stage. But we'll just have a click into um, my walks. So the top menu bar, dashboard, my walks, my groups, settings, go into my walks. And see that I'm walking with Angie's Angels and I can spend steps completed walks we'll click that so I participated as part of Angie's Angels group on the Edinburgh Marathon and we completed that um, well today five o'clock so well done us let's just have a look 100% completed see the map on the right hand side and members of our team. So let's go to groups. So you guys from Walks Preston, if you want to join Angie's Angels, then um, what you need to do is send um, Angela Clark your email address. She will then add you uh, manually to her group. And uh, she's the boss lady of that group, Angela the boss lady. And um, 
that's it from there you get an invite from Angela you click on the invite so it will appear on your dashboard somewhere that you've had an invite and you click you on get an email as well Matt sorry you should get an email as well that's how I got my invite from Ange yeah yeah so you either get the email and you click through the email or you log into your um, will walks dashboard and the, that's what I did and I had a, a notification in that dashboard that I had um, the invite to Angie's Angels. So we'll have a look at Angie's Angels. And wow, look at the steps. 856,000. Wow. It doesn't say how many kilometers or miles that is, but so we've got 17 members in the group so far. Let's have a look. Barbara, Elaine, Janice, Heather, Donna. Obviously, Angela, Steph, Di, Anne, Leslie. That'll be you, will it? Leslie F. Leslie? Yeah, yeah. So, have you got a muted mic? Me, Chris, Jeanette, Andy Harrison, and Vicky. Excellent. So, nice little group there. And in that the functionality, there's a group. You can send a message, you can do a group chat. So let's have a look. Angela's added Warsaw to the group. I sent a message, Jill replied to me. Thank you, Jill. Let's have a look. So my groups is only Angie's Angels. Leslie, you're in the group. Leslie, can you hear us? Lost her again. No, gone. So, dashboard. Let's take us through spending some steps. So, whilst I didn't want to do this, maybe better for the demonstration on this video, we can spend the steps. And I have the option to spend them with the island walk. Are you guys linked or into the Warsaw walk? Yeah, not yet. Steph, are you? Yeah. Okay, so how would you add yourself to the Warsaw group? Um, oh, I can't remember. There you it is. Click on it there. Yeah. So we've gone into um, my walks and available group walks wonders of the uk so are you in wonders of the uk as well yeah yeah let's click on that one oh, that looks nice well it lands into john groups and there we go if you're not part of this walk yet join now let's go now part of Wonders of the War of the UK. My walks. Available group walks. Warsaw. Never been to Warsaw. Who's been to Warsaw? Put your hand up. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, we're going with Angie's Angels. Not part of this walk yet, so click join now. Now part of that group. There we go, there's the map of Warsaw. And it's nice that it sort of tells you a little bit of kind of history or other kind of interesting information about the place that you're walking. And let's spend some steps here. So if I spend steps, I have 12,000 available and I can use my slide. So I'm probably gonna to want to use half of them Spend the distance on the walk, use half my steps for Warsaw, and I want to put some in the one of the other walks. So I've added four kilometers to the walk. I'm just getting loads of uh, <laughs> sorry, getting loads of messages from it now when you clicked on that. <laughs> it's pinging you that I've added the uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the the 
The interesting thing is you can create the engagement, but sometimes you can be pinged to death and that can create a little bit of uh, angst possibly. But let me go to Wonders of the UK. There are, there's no percent. Oh, what is it? Ooh, first one. <laughs> uh, 1,200 steps. Someone's put something in, but not enough. That was me. Such a long distance. That was you, Steph, was it? Yeah. Eager to get the first steps in on that walk. I like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got 6,000 steps to add. I'll just chuck the whole lot in, spend the distance, click the button, and successfully added four kilometers so will we yes look at that we've got a little white line on the uh, on the progress pie chart oh, not even pie chart is it yes angela's just noted that uh, you've added your steps <laughs> yes what she said as she commented i've not Did done it yeah no omg matt's just added his steps that must be matt <laughs> <laughs> great so there you can see on the right hand side we've got the uh, the wonders of the uk the map the route and then below that the milestones and kind of information about for example scara bray now if i had time in my life i would probably happily sit here and read all of that and kind of enjoy the fact that i could read that the fact that i don't I'm probably never going to read any of those, but I'll try and add the, the steps and I'll feel better for doing that overall. So, Steph, Jill, are there any other parts of I world walking that you guys have used or are familiar with? No, I think you've covered most of it. Yeah, I think you've covered it all. So here, just in the top right, there's a kind of um, notification and message, messenger kind of um, section of the page. I'll click on that and I gained the country flags achievement two minutes ago. So I will have a look at that. Yes, yeah, so there's just notifications of more than likely people in our group when they do things, which are probably the pinging that Jill received when I, mm -hmm. I added my uh, steps messages open chat and that just relates to angie having added warsaw so i'll go back to dashboard so i have fifty-seven thousand steps walked no badges have changed but the country flags i've now got um what what's that that's just what is it? Is that the British flag, the English flag, or what? What's that? The white and red. Yeah, flag. Struggling to see. Warsaw. Oh, that yeah, Poland. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Hmm. So they just add on automatically, and there we go. I'm involved in Ireland, one's the UK, Warsaw. I don't think there's anything else I can really say about it. It's uh, you just literally have to sign up, mm -hmm. you have to walk, you have to um, find, you either link your um, app or Fitbit or whatever else to World Walking or you manually add your steps or kilometers or miles based on your settings. So let's have a look at settings. Maybe that's prompted me. Um, send me a newsletter. Thank you, but no thank you. I have enough stuff to read. My units here are steps. So I could change to kilometers, miles. Yeah, okay, nice and easy. So that was found in the settings. Profile, name, my email. Nothing else. General. That's just the steps or the kilometers. Right. So the big question is, is Angela the only one who's choosing these walks and adding them? Or if you f find another walk that you would be interested in the group participating in, can you add it yourself? 
I think Angie's the only one that can add them, but we can suggest them to her. Right. You could, I mean, you could add them to your individual walks if you wanted to do one on your own. Um, yeah, fair enough. Group ones, so. Oh, yeah, so I could create a new group here, but I'm happy enough to be with Angie's Angels. I think that's the, the whole point is our members mm -hmm. being together and kind of supporting each other on that. Um, yeah. Start a new walk, let's have a look what that is. Ah, there you go. Yeah, those would be just for your individual walks, so though, not for the group walk. But we could have a look through here, like the Hague, oh, for yeah. example, yeah. and suggest to Angela that we'd, one of us would like that to be part of the collective group of walks. Yeah. I, I think I just spotted the Great Pyramids before. That would be a nice one to do. <laughs> yeah. Uzbekistan, not been there either. Maybe that would be useful. Walk the Med. Walk the Med. Nice. You do that all the time, so. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, look at that. 13 oh, more tabs. There must be hundreds. Loads and loads. Yeah. Lots of walks. Ah, there you can see. You can select where those on the, the left here. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Northern Hemisphere. Right, back to dashboard. Is there anything else either of you would consider useful to, if anyone's watching back, that they would need to know something about this? Think... No? No, I don't know. Right, well, well done. It's as easy as that, just log in, register, log in with Facebook or your app or whatever else and um, ask Angela, send her your email and uh, she'll invite you to the group. You get the notification by email or on inside the program and then start logging your walks or automatically logging the walks and banking them. So Steph, you, when you, that's reminded me, you, your Fitbit, logs your walks but then you have to yeah. go and manually spend them on the yeah walk. great and tell me steph how many badges have you got um two i think okay. even stevens so far how many how many steps have you walked Oh, I need to find my phone to check that. Hang on. I'm beating you, Matt. I've got four awards. Four? Yeah. Have you got, have you got four? Come on. Have you... um, I've got the country flags, socialite, solo walk. I did, ah, I did a, a started a solo walk. So right. I've got two, uh, one for group walk and one for solo walk. So well, for you that, because you've got a group, you're walking in a group. So I'm only walking with the group at the minute, but you've walked. You've yeah, but it's given me a badge for that a group walker. So did you select a walk on the right hand side and walk it by yourself rather than within the group? Absolutely. Yeah, I started on, uh, by mistake actually, the island one. I, I clicked on the island one, not realising I had to go into Andy's Angels first and then click on it. Ah, right, okay. So, uh, yeah. Good. What, go on then, Steph, what, what steps have you got? Uh, 45,620. Oh, okay. uh, let's have a look. Jill, 300,000? No, <laughs> <laughs> 56,000. I've hardly done anything today, so. Oh, I Jill, nothing today. No, you do nothing. a lap of the docks as punishment. <laughs> no, I'm going to do a nice long walk in the morning, get up early and get out. Come on then, Di Duckworth, where are you hiding behind your name there? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've, lo I've logged into you and I, I have no idea where it is. 
Because I'm so trying to, I'm, oh, hang on, I've got Zoom there, it might be on that. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm trying to help Leslie. Well, Leslie's been on, but we couldn't hear her. I know, that's what she said to me. She said that she was on, but she didn't know how to do it. So I'm just trying to convert it. I've only come on, because obviously I'm using, I'm using this thingy, what's it? Um, so I'm just trying to get her on it, really. Well, it's very nice of you to show your face and Leslie to join us, but we're about to end the call now because we've discussed everything we wanted to discuss. So <laughs> I will that's save this as a... Nice <laughs> I'll save it as a recording and um, I'll make sure Leslie gets uh, tagged into um, the recording. Okay, no problem. Okie dokie. Okay. And just tell us before you go, Di, how many steps have you walked? Today? No, on the... Um, in this on the walking. Walking. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Because I, I just put them on on a, da a daily basis, so I don't know what what my total is since we started. Sorry. No props at all. So you're adding them manually, yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay. Great. If anyone has any questions, then contact me, Matt, contact Angela, or anyone else who you find in the group. If you're not in the group or you're not using this and you want some help, contact us. Once you're in the group and you need some help, contact anyone who's in the group. So thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 There we go. Stop share and meeting.